How's it going guys, my name is Atlas Plus and welcome to my brand new series on Bioshock Infinite. Now, I said I'd be bringing more games to the channel so I thought I'd start off with my favourite game of all time, well my favourite story, FPS game of all time, Bioshock Infinite. Now if you haven't played this game, it's amazing, honestly it's, the story is so good and if you stick around you'll find out what it's all about. Now the ending to this game is amazing, it's literally one of the best endings to ever game, to ever game, what? To any game ever, but without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to obviously play in starting from the beginning now I was thinking about it but and there is a mode that it should be unlocked 1998 or 1999 mode it's stupidly hard so we're not gonna bother we're just gonna play on normal I was gonna say normal and medium settings but without further ado let's get started now I'll show up for the intro because you know you'll need to know everything about it but I'm babbling on so let's go I'm not even sure if there is an intro actually no they're just like I'll let you find out anyway so the game itself is um it's kind of it's not really a success, uh, the, I'm mixing it, I'm mixing up all my words it's so early in the morning it's like it's like 2 in the morning right now I'm so tired but I'm just can't sleep at all so I was like we'll make a video There we go Are you afraid of God? No. I'm afraid of you. This game is so good, like, I'm so excited to play it again. I've not played it, the last time I played it was about this time last year, I'm not going to lie. It must have been very close to this time last year. I completed it in a day, literally. I played it for, like, I think I played it for nine hours straight and completed it. I literally sat on my computer and just played it all day and I got it done and I was like, oh, is that it? So... If you have played Bioshock 1, then it's kind of, it doesn't really tie into the game as such, but it does have a lot of references to the first one, especially the DLC, which we'll probably be doing. Now, the way that I'm going to actually do this series is, series is, series, that I'm going to play it as much as possible, and I'm just going to split the parts up, because there's not really any point in doing an intro. Now, I've been having a look at my intro. I do really do like it. It was made by Oxymary. I'll put his link in the description. I, I should have done that for the first ever video, but whatever. So his link in the description will be there. He did make amazing like vaporwave, 80s futuristic type of intros. So check him out if you want an intro. He's really good, and I think they're about ten pound. No, I think they were. I think it was five pounds. So it's about eight eight dollars fifty for his intro. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. What matters is Bioshock Infinite. Now we are gonna. Oh, you can actually move around. I didn't even realise. Now I've actually sorted out the audio. I think basically in Audacity, my volume was all the way up for audio, which basically like it picks up everything. Can we get out? Oh, all right, all right. Jesus Christ, wait there. Eventually, cheeky. All right, that sounds a bit weird. What's this? Now, they actually play a very important role in the game, so we'll just let them do their own thing. I'm not really at a look. What's that? Uh, I, I definitely saw Silver Eagle there now. There. Oh, they're there. Right, we'll just pick the money up because we kind of need it. So, as I said before, if you play Bioshock Infinite, the Bioshock novel, you haven't... Well, maybe you have. I just automatically assumed that you hadn't. I don't know why. But if you play the original Bioshock, the lighthouse is kind of symbolic to Bioshock as a whole. Do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away your debt. This is your last chance. So we play as Booker Dewitt, a detective. But the right, this literally, I cannot comprehend how good the story is. Like whoever wrote the guy, like I think it was. I really want to say his name was. Oh, he's got. I think it's called. I think he was called Adam Levine. I'm gonna have to Google it because he. I think he was called Adam Levine, the main writer of the game. But oh my God, can he write a story? Jesus Christ, this game is so, so good. Like, is anyone here? bruh. Hello? Like, oh, you can't, I can't even comprehend, honestly. We're just going to get into it. So we're going to walk up these stairs. I'm not going to commentate the entire thing, obviously, because it's going to get a bit boring. Like, we're going to be walking up these stairs now. Uh, we'll take you. You've been shot in the head, it looks like. I'm going to say in the head. I don't know, though. Don't disappoint us. You disappointed me. We'll get on our way, though. We'll get on our way. Time's ticking, so... Instead of being underwater, the game's in the sky. You probably already know that if you've seen any like promotional material for the game, which I'm guessing you have because I think there's an actual specific way you got to do this. Or maybe not. Look at that lens flare, though. 
Oh, or well, maybe you do. So, damn that beat. All right, let's get going. Fuck, Jesus Christ! I've also noticed I like swear a lot in my video, so I'm gonna keep that down to a minimal to keep it kid friendly. Well, not really kid friendly because we're playing 18 plus games, but I do notice that I do swear a lot so I'm gonna try and keep that down for you guys because it kind of does get annoying if you're wondering why my voice sounds like really groggy for some reason in the morning like it doesn't matter what time in the morning but my voice goes like really deep like even if I cough now which I'm not gonna because it's just gonna come up on the um, audio but it gets really groggy and there's nothing I can do about it and it annoys me because it feels like I've got a massive lump in my throat what is this lighthouse doing can we can we just get in already Please. Please. Alright, sweet. So we can get him. Now, instead of getting in the bathosphere, it's kind of just reverse, really, this game to Bioshock 1. I'd, I'd assume so, Booker, you know? The chair comes out of nowhere. I'd be pretty freaked out by now. It's see what I mean, right? You can see, you can clearly see that his hand can get out of there, but whatever. I'd be, I'd be freaking out right now. So I don't know how long the episodes are going to be. I think they're going to be about half an hour each. I think that's a reasonable time for a let's play. Oh, he lost his gun. He's just floating around. Ascension. And this is where it actually ties in with the Black Ops 1 Ascension map. If you ever played that, basically. He goes, no, I'm just fucking with you. Look at that lens flare. Purple. That's our character in the mirror. It's kind of weird, it looks nothing like the character on like the posters and stuff. <gasps> oh, look how lit the city is. So this game is based, oh it's so good, it is so good. My praise to this game are like through the roof. I recommend this game to anyone. Like, you don't have to play the original Bioshock games either, but either. I went proper Manchester then, my accent, that's something well weird. Man Manchester, I don't know, whatever, it's too early, it's way too early, I shouldn't be doing this, but we're going to anyway, we're going to just go with the flow. Oh, this game, it's, it's so fucking good, like, you don't understand, I keep I keep going on about it, but you're going to see, you are the ending, I cannot wait for that episode, I'm just going to be like, whoa. And then we're going to play the DLC now, I have played the first episode, it's, it's episodic, the DLC, so I played the first episode, but not the second, well I've got about halfway through the second, I think. So it's gonna be all new to me. Now I've obviously played the game before, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna do it anyway. Now other games that I'm gonna be bringing to the channel, hopefully, um, I really want to play some Fallout 4, which I think I've mentioned previously. Minecraft is gonna be the same. Zombies, I need to make some more videos, and I've also recently been playing Smite, so maybe I can make a few Smite videos, like God builds or whatever. I don't know. We'll have to see in the future. But I've been waiting all day for this to download because my internet's so bipolar. It's like. One minute it's at eight megabytes, eight megabytes, and then the next it's like five hundred kilobits a second. It's just like nice. Oh. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. So it's very religious. The game, it's got like a very religious setting slash theme. It looks amazing. Like honestly, we're gonna be able to get out. I'm looking at the game, like I'm looking at all the little features, and you guys don't know yet. But I'm, I, I'm like trying to hold myself back from telling you. I'm like, oh well, that you know what that means. And I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, you in for a treat? All right, so we're gonna get going. I'm not sure which way you actually go. It's very, it's very, um, as I said, very religious, very little, a mess of words. Yeah, nice one, pal. Nice one. I'm not sure what the FOV is on. I'm pretty sure it's not fully out. So I'm just going to quickly check that before we get any further into the game. Graphics. Uh, FOV is all the way up, it looks like. All the way up. Oh, this game is... Oh, bro. This... Oh, boy. I'm so excited to play it. Like, I never really play... It. When it comes to games, once I played it, I won't play it again for a very long time, but this game I could play back to back non-stop, I think. Obviously probably not back to back, but you know, like every few months or so. 
the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet water. What, what are they talking about? They're so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know what, sure, we'll get cleansed. My soul needs cleansing anyway. So we'll, we'll not get into that. Right. I, I swear I clicked E. Yeah, alright. Like the secret handshake. Turns out they're just like crypts or something. We've just been inducted into the hood. Oh, he's drowning us. Oh, imagine if there was an actual religion like this. Whew. Wait. I'm joking. I'm, I'm, not. I'm actually. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. We'll not get into that. We'll not get into that. We'll, we'll keep the jokes for a minute. Now it looks like yeah, this is a flashback. This game, no, oh, I can't talk about it. It's so annoying. What do you want? The death. That looks like New York City to me. Are they guns? No, the keys aren't they? No, it looks like the guns. So it's very. It's very Catholic, the game, Christianity Catholic, that type of theme, and um, I don't know, it's just gone, it's very American, very Civil War, I want to say. We never really got taught Civil War America in history, we only did Civil Rights, not Civil War, so that's a bit of a problem, I don't, I'm not too up to date on my Civil War history. I'm not sure what these settings are on, I'm pretty sure everything is maxed out. If it gets a bit laggy then I'll know, I'll know if there's an FPS drop, so we're, we're pretty good for now. Money shot. I'm trying to get as many like thumbnail pictures in this as possible, so I can just save them all. It's got a waterfall and everything, boy. Look how nice this game is. It's almost like sad to see it go to shit throughout the end, throughout the game. Like obviously it goes to shit because you know it's, it's a Bioshock game, so you just automatically know that something's going to go wrong. And like, what could go wrong in a city on air? Uh, practically, I think it's something like. Can you jump off the edge? No, you can't. It's just it's like so weird the concept of this game, but it isn't as well because it's kind of like predictable. Prophet, oh wait, we'll read it. A vision of a great city. The prophet Comstock leads his people out of the below. So it's kind of like the, I want to say the reincarnation, if I can say that. Because as you can see, it's like very, look. Imagine if he's Jesus and these are all his disciples as Mary. Well, no, that doesn't make sense because then he'd be Jesus, he'd be um, Joseph, wouldn't he? And then, never mind, never mind, I'm getting all religious now. The raffle. Oh, the raffle. We're getting close. We are getting close. This is kind of like the first instinct of like... It's so weird how like quickly the game picks up the pace. Can we actually... I didn't even know you could look into this. This is crazy. It's crazy. And you know what? We're just going to skip it. A sightseer. Oh, there's an actual achievement to go with it. Damn, I didn't realise. It's... The way that this game just works is just like amazing. I saw some flash then. Can we have... I thought it was like the Beatles or something. No, we'll eat that cheese. How, why can't you get through there? That's all weird. Oh well. Now, oh, another thing. If you, if anyone's actually watched my first ever video on the channel, you'll understand. Um, the quality is like really bad, and it's because that's actually an Easter egg, and I don't know what I don't know what song it's off, but it's definitely an Easter egg. Because I remember seeing a video on it. God only knows. Columbia's gayest quartet. Gay is in happy, not homosexual. I'm guessing because of the era. That's not just like an assumption, but we'll just we'll keep it rolling. We'll keep it rolling. So I can't. I've completely lost ta track of what I was talking about. Monument Island. You, you just like little shits like that. Like you just know by the voice. Lutes. Now, if you remember from the beginning of the game, the little quote, the Lutes. 
He's not an actual Lutess. He's not an actual person. The people in the beginning of the game are the Lutess twins, which are like amazing. That was something weird. So this is like giving you like an insight to the game. So these are called the Walking Bronco. Nah. So they're called the Vox, and now they are a. They're like a faction in the game, I guess you could say. And then there's the handymen, which are like kind of based off big daddies. It's just old people in suits, effectively. What's this? Oh, it's a Vigor. They're effectively ghosts, and if you reverse the audio, then they actually say stuff like. It's proper twisted shit, like, oh, we are dead and whatnot. Imagine drinking out, just tripping actual balls. Like, in the middle of nowhere. I can do that. I personally wouldn't drink anything. I mean, it's a floating city, for Christ's sake. I like the little, like, old time, like, I don't know. I really want to say Charlie Chaplin type esque picture, but whatever. Alright, so as you can see, this is. So it's right mouse button to actually hit stuff. And this is called Salt, and now. These is this is like Eve if you played Bioshock One, so it's like you know it's just whatever. You can actually, oh shit! You can't actually possess people. That was a bad idea. Um, we'll get going. We'll get going. Buy a ticket. Oh no! The raffles all sold out. We'll just have to go walk around. Oh, we can actually use it to possess, and it's like. It's corruption in the early stages if you think about it, like, oh, we've just been given a possession thing, so we'll just, you know what I mean, anyway. Oh, look, it's Lou Test Twins. Heads. Of course. Hmm. Dollar bill. It'd be good if you could actually possess this. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't. Oh, maybe you can. I don't know. I'm guessing you can. Alright, so we'll walk around now. The episodes are going to be like half an hour long, so there's not really much to worry. They're just going to take a very long time to render. Actually, they won't, because my new render settings, that's what I was on about before, I just completely... I get sidetracked so, so easily. If you remember at the beginning of the game, I'm getting sidetracked again, literally, as I just right. Basically, the render settings are sorted. But if I disable the resample, then it's all good. The quality will be better. Yeah, that shit's about to kick off, shit is about to hit the fan. And we're just about to find out, so let's get into it. Oh, the raffle, the raffle. This, the game really pisses me off. Like, it's good because it really makes you think, but it, it does piss me off, like, a lot. Like, the, the theme of the game, just like the pure racism and shit like that, it just, it's so annoying. Like, if you think about it, this actually happens back in the day, and it's just stupid. But we're not going to talk about it, because it's just bad vibes, whatever. 70 fucking 7, what are, oh, wow, yeah it is, it's a very lucky number actually, we specifically told not to get 77, so, what's the worst that could happen? See how he said white girl, that's like the theme, white supremacy, oh what do you know, yeah alright, chill out, Jesus. Claim my prize. Look. No, I'm a fuck gonna throw. It's going right into your face, bruh. Ha ha ha. You're a dead man. You're literally dead. Throw the announcer, boy. Oh, it's the shepherd. Where'd you get that? That makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd. False shepherd. Walk a flock of flame. And that was a reference. Oh no 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 no! Money shot. 
Oh boy! Oh no! Oh look at that! Damn, Daniel! Look at this game. It's so brutal, but it's like it's so good. Where are you going? So good. Right, so we're gonna get moving. This is like the first. It's basically, it's just a massive, like, it's just killing people from this, say, John. Let's get. I'm pretty sure that said something in blood, but I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look back on the footage. I never really saw it. I ne there. I'm messing my words up. I don't know why, but I've never seen that before. It, to be fair, in my, in my defense, it is like 2 15 in the morning. Yeah, 2 15, well, 2 18 actually, but whatever. All right, let's get, let's get going. We got any money? Uh, possession aid? No. Right, we got we got some vigors though, so it's all good. I'm pretty right. Right mouse button to aim in. What are you doing? I'm trying to aim. I've not played this game in ages, so all the like controls are, like pretty weird. We're gonna. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Like I've not played it in so long. It's so weird because I'm like, clicking RB to aim in. Oh, it's so annoying this, right? Um, best thing to do now would be to... Oh, damn. I'm thinking we could just run and jump onto that. Uh, we'll get down here. What? That was weird. Uh... Can we actually destroy that? That can't damage your allies. Alright, sweet. So we'll just let them take them out. Take you. Alright, sweet. So we'll keep moving forward now. I just like, every time it comes to like, the actual gameplay, I just shut up and try and concentrate. But it kind of gets boring, so I'm just going to sleep. Um, like I was saying before, the render settings, I kind of like went quickly, briefly went over that. Uh, because I didn't disable my resampling, I'm going to turn the volume down actually, because it's so, so loud. Uh, sound effects. See? Let's turn that down. Turn you down, so it changes. Much better. All right, cool. Now you can actually hear me. So the render settings, the I didn't disable the resampling, so basically it makes the quality look very bad. Now I always thought it was like kind of a myth. Everyone used to always say like, "Don't forget to disable resample and all that like crap." So I actually did it, and like I know it's like a different straight away. So we're just gonna carry on. It looks like you can just one shot him if you get him. Oh shit! All right, that's going for me, and we got a vigor left, so I'm just gonna quickly get you or oh, maybe we don't have enough figures where you at where you at where you at oh one shot at least my aiming gets better on the plus side I'm, I don't know if that's actually gonna hit me or not hope it doesn't so I definitely just did uh, I'm stuck I'm actually like legit st oh, right I'm pretty sure mouse acceleration is on oh there's actually someone there right the fireman? I thought it was a false shepherd. Oh, wait. Right, um. Calvers? Boy. Can we, can we get him? Can we get him? Oh, no. Alright, we did. We got him. We need to get some help, though, like, quick. And it, you know what? I kind of knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Basically, when you die, you've got to walk back through the, this door. It's like it's just a random door in the middle of nowhere. You kind of know as well, wouldn't you? Like, oh, I've just died. And then, obviously. It all ties in with the story. Or well, everything ties in with the story, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, I remember quite a lot of this game, more than I remember. remember like, I remember playing it, and just, I'm looking back at it, and I was like, oh, I remember doing this. Probably because I put, like completed it all in one day. Alright, sweet. It's getting hot. Yeah, What's it is. It's that, that was the weirdest thing ever. I am, oh, it's so fucking weird. Basically, it's boiling in my room, and like, I don't know, I've just all of a sudden got really, really warm. Oh, it's pretty easy to kill, I didn't realize it'd be this easy. Devil's Kiss. Oh, a new vigor, sweet. Die the fucking head again. You only live once. Imagine, just imagine it. Like, actually, you'd be, oh, you'd just cry. I'd just be like, I wouldn't be screaming, I'd just be, it'd probably knock me out. 
and he just goes all back to normal and nothing happens. But the one thing I don't understand, right? Oh, we're not as big as. Basically, it's just. It's like. Uh, it's cute to switch. No, it wasn't no sample, boy. Uh, we'll quickly take a hold of you. Give it a salt. It's all good. It's all good to do. And we're going to go. And then we're going to just quickly hit you in the face. Right, we're going to move up. We're going to move up. Uh, the blue ribbon. Just in case you didn't know, like what area the like pig there was, I guess. Uh, leave area. Yeah, right. We're going in. We're going in. So, oh, that looks like in the top left corner, like all these credentials. Okay. So I'm not sure how long these video. Well, I said obviously they're gonna be like half an hour, thirty-five minutes. Is that the loot test? Yeah, it is. Uh, health. Oh, you can actually like choose what you want here. I always I always just go like one, two, three, so health. We? Oui. Shield upgrades. No, I'm good. Oh, you can actually... Right, oh, you can upgrade one of each. I didn't even realize. I, probably, I completely missed this the first time around, I think. Alright, so we'll just go one of each. Oh, you can... What is going on here? Why can we upgrade so much stuff? This is weird. That is weird. That is very weird. They're kind of cool. Like they keep just blabbering on, but whatever. It sounds like me. That's all I seem to do. I'm pretty sure there's white. The couple is round here, I think. And this is where it starts getting fun. Like as if you just jump and like. Yep, yeah, no shit. And then what we can do is we can actually jump down and get him. Oh, money shot. Aerial assassin. You know, I'm pretty sure I already unlocked that. Now oh, we've got some guns as well, nice. So we can actually switch weapons with C, which is a bit of a weird button to switch weapons with, but you know, we'll just go with it. We'll go with it. I can hear something. The recoil is like dreadful on this game. But yeah, oh, that's sweet. We'll keep moving, we'll keep going, go, 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 go. Oh, damn, what am I trying to do here? There we go, I'm actually quite powerful now. Right. Where they are? This is weird. Oh, there you are. Pretty sure you can charge it as well. Yeah. He already looks quite toasted. Sinner. I'm trying to crouch. There we go. Alright. Keep going, keep going. It's kind of hard like to commentate and play at the same time. I didn't realise it was hard for a game. Like With Minecraft it's kind of easy because it's kind of like... I wouldn't say relaxed in Minecraft, especially with creepers and whatnot, but... It's easy to play because it's like quite a peaceful game, but with this it's like you're always on edge because everyone's always shooting at you. I kind of picked the worst game ever to play, so let's like play, but we're, we've already started now, so we're just going to finish it. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I hit that with a fireball it's going to go from Roger, yeah, nice. For some reason I'm getting like achievements that I've already got. I didn't even know you can jump down here. This is so cool, like I'm finding stuff for the first time. I, can, I remember like quite well, like, my memory is quite good. I, I'm not sure if I'm like that's bragging or whatever, but whatever. Uh, you sink, what can we use a sink for? Oh, you can literally just turn it on. Uh, we'll take that, we'll just, uh, might as well just search whatever we got time, haven't we? Hello. What's that mean? Fuck off. <laughs> I actually feel quite bad now. Damn. Uh, uh, we'll just rob all this shit while they don't get in my way. Um, I'm trying to think. Trying to think. There's a door. I'm sure there was a door. Oh yeah, there is literally one here. Well, 
jump across here and then we will jump across here. I'm trying to think of how we're going to get across now. Uh, so it's great. We must. How do you get. And where do we go? Oh, literally where. We'll keep going. I wish you could like stack momentum from jumping so you could run faster. If that made sense. I don't know, I'm literally just saying shit now. I'm just talking shit. I'm trying to find these this couple. It's around here, they must be. Is Oh, what was that? What's good? Oh, I'm waiting for him to come through. I don't want them to die. Oh, okay. I guess that works too. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? That's Abraham Lincoln. He's kind of like seen sort down upon in this game because obviously they freed the slaves. So he's kind of like looked. I'm pretty sure he's looked down upon compared to all the other pe presidents because obviously you got Thomas. Right, I don't know my presidents, but Jefferson. Oh, I shit myself then. I just heard someone like scream, so I just assumed he was near me. I love the way I was going to say, like, oh, I'm going to stop swearing and all this lot, but it's like literally just been a normal day for me. There we go. It's kind of hard to aim in as well. We're going to have to preserve that, I think. I'm really hoping they make another Bioshock game. Because they are my favorite. It is like one of my. F it is probably my favorite series of all time. Is that an actual horse? Yeah, but you can't shoot it. That's unfortunate. The Ordemus Pos. Am I? You're the fool. Comstock fights a serpent of nations. See what I mean? It's like it's just very racist. This game, which is kind of like. Obviously, it's not a good thing, but the setting it makes sense. So it's kind of good how they've like kept to the theme of like the um, to hit of history. I'm not sure if he's gonna actually attack me or not. I hope not. So they all attack me. You're fucked. You're all you're all doomed. All right, sweet. Okay, okay. I didn't know you could get drunk, that's a bit weird. I'm trying to find this I'm trying to find this couple. I know they're around here somewhere. That's horrible. What even is that? It's a head. As you, yeah, that's it. That's an accurate representation. So obviously Abraham Lincoln's looked down upon. I'm pretty I knew I was right. I didn't want to like say it and then Alright, it's all good, it's all good. I knew I was right. I'm not sure where we go now. I'm guessing what he says. Damn, we've been playing like, jeez, I didn't realise we've been playing for like 30 minutes already. Anyway, as I said, we're going to keep the episodes for 30 minutes each, because if you go any longer, they're just going to get boring. So, if you have enjoyed this episode of the Bioshock Infinite Let's Play, don't forget to leave a like, rating, a comment, and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Atlas, 